Hey, what's up, Dev? Welcome back to Web Dev Channel, a place where you learn by doing. We have a great episode today. Teach you how to create a bot animation using CSS. It's gonna be a quick animation, quick and easy. And as always, we are gonna do that, you and me, step by step from scratch, always on the same page. And stick to the end of the video because you will learn how to make it by yourself. Let's get started. All right, Dev, let's have fun. Let's create a boilerplate. It's quite simple. Hit exclamation and tab. Now, go into our title. For the title, let's say Bot Animation CSS. All right. We need also a link. Connect our markup to our CSS. Okay. And now we go straight to the body. In the body, we need a main div. Let's call it box. And here, let's have a H2 saying CSS. Let's see what we have so far. And that's it. Our markup is done. We are in the realm of CSS where the art will be done. Okay. And as you can see, all we have so far is a text. So let's make it beautiful. Okay. Let's use the Google Fonts poppings. All right. And okay. We import and paste it here. And now we are going to have a CSS reset. All right. But before we have it, I'm going to show you why we need it. Okay. Let's create a body. And in the body, let's have a border of, let's say, three pixels orange. Okay. As you can see, different browsers offer different margin and padding. And we don't want that. We want to work with our own numbers. So margin zero, padding also zero. And box sizing, we want that to be about a box. Another thing we're going to do here is really use the Poppins fonts that we got from Google Fonts. Okay, so font family is going to be Poppins and so sad if it's a full back. Let's get rid of this. Okay, Dev. Now we want to grab this CSS, okay, and put that right in the middle. And how are you going to do that? Using our flex box, okay? So this play is going to be flex. Just find like content along the main axis. Horizontal is going to be center. Along the cross axis, also center, okay? But it's not working. Why not? Because we need to give it a mean height. In this case, 100 VH. And it's right in the middle. Another thing we should be doing here is pick a background color, okay? Let's look for a nice and bluish color, okay? So it is 10A1538, okay? And yeah, looks nice. Going from the top to the bottom, now after the body, we have the box, our main container, okay? So let's apply some rules. Its position is going to be relative. Let's give a width of 300 pixels. Of course, you can work with your own numbers. The height here is going to be 400 pixels. All right. So you have like a card. The layout here is going to be display flex. Just like content along the main axis and along the cross axis align items center. Okay. And as you can see, we have like a card with a CSS right in the middle. As you notice, our CSS here is hard to read, okay, and too small. So let's change that. Let's change the call to RGB 226, 226 and 226, make it easier to read. Let's also apply some text shadow, okay? I like it. So let's give it two pixels, two pixels, and for the color, let's say black, okay? Easy to read, but still very small. Let's change the size for 8 a.m. Okay, now let's go up here to the, to the box and let's give it a color, okay? The background color, let's say RGBA, let's pick the black color and give a transparency of dot five, okay? We also need to make the corners a little bit round on the corner, so the body radius is gonna be 20 pixels or whatever you like, okay? 
Okay, guys, the the big trick here is gonna be using Soda Class. Okay, that bottle that you saw in the beginning is gonna be great now. Use Soda Class. Okay, the position is gonna be absolute. The width is gonna be 170 pixels, and the height for now just show you 100%. Okay, from top to the bottom, we're gonna change that later on, and you understand why. Okay, so the background, let's use the same color you saw in the beginning. Okay. Let's use two colors here. Let's go for this one, 00CCFF. So this one, G500F9. And I guess you start to understand what's going on here. First of all, let me put the CSS on the front of it. Okay, using Z index 2. All right. And the next step here, we're gonna make some animation. Okay, we need that to rotate. So animation, rotate, four seconds, linear and infinite, all right? Let me give some more space here. So it's gonna be easier for you to follow along, okay? Okay, we have the animation, we know the name, we know let's rotate, but we don't have it, okay? So let's create that, it's gonna be also quite simple. Add key frames, uh, rotate, okay, and we are going from one state to another one. So we are going from transform, rotate zero degrees to transform, translate, or uh, rotate 36 degrees, okay. So we go from zero to 36 degrees, and this is start spinning the way we want, okay. But as you can see, there is a problem. It, it cannot cover all the our cards, okay? So we kind of solve the problem here with 140 height, but as you can see, this is out of the box. So let's use overflow hidden. This way we can keep this just under, just inside our card, okay? Now it's inside the card and we are right to the next step. Now is the big moment. We're gonna transform this linear gradient that's spinning into our butter. Okay. You want to do that? Let's grab our box. Let's use a solar class after. Okay. And as usual here, the content is gonna be another thing. We also want that to be absolute, of course, absolute to the box. So position here is going to be absolute. And the background, we're going to use the same color of the body. So this way, both of them have the same color. And the difference is going to be just the borders. Okay. So the background color is going to be this one, 0 E1538. Okay. And now we're going to have the big moment, okay, inset, and let's say 5 pixels. So as you can see, it's almost done. We have a little problem here at the corners, and let's solve that with bottom radius, okay? So let's say bottom radius of 50, of 16 pixels, and yeah, now it's done. That's all for today. I hope you like it. If you like it, smash that like button and you also subscribe for more. See you in the next one.